Why was old Call of Duty so successful back in its day? That's what I'm going to be discussing today. I think, first of all, above all else, the old Call of Duty games, and when I say old, I mean World at War and Black Ops 1, they were very simple, but not easy. It, if you look at gaming throughout history, a lot of the most popular games have been games that are very simple, but not necessarily easy, such as Pac-Man, Space Invaders, uh, Donkey Kong, the, the OG Mario back on the NES. Again, lo just looking throughout history, popular games have been usually games that are very simple, but not necessarily easy. Simple enough that any player could pick it up and learn learn the mechanics and learn the controls pretty well, but it's definitely going to take a decent amount of skill before they can get very far in the game. And that's what the original Call of Duty Zombies was. World at War and Black Ops 1 and I guess very early Black Ops 2 as well, but only really with the four survival maps I believe, I believe there were. Town... Uh, Bus Depot, Farm, and Nuketown Zombies. After that, things did start to get a little bit more complex. You know, like with Transit, you know, that uh, Transit, Die, Rise, Mob of the Dead, Origins, you had to learn all these locations of various stuff. You had to learn how to build all these things. But in World at War and Black Ops 1, it was a lot more just, you know, get a good gun, get your perks, survive as long as you can. It was very simple, it was very arcade-like, and the main point that I'm trying to make is, back in its day, it was very, very simple, but not necessarily easy. And that's honestly the kind of game that I like in general. I'm going to use Dragon Ball Fighter Z as an example. In my opinion, it is the greatest fighting game of all time. Why? It is very simple. You can pick that game up very quickly and learn, you know, pretty much everything you need to know. You can have mastered in just a couple hours, but it is not an easy game. It definitely takes a lot of... It, it's... The, the mechanics are simple. The gameplay is simple. The controls as a whole are simple, but it's not necessarily an easy game. You do have to learn about timing and, you know, just... And learn about what character really suits your playstyle the best. But again, it's simple, but it's not necessarily easy. So I think that's the number one reason that Call of Duty Zombies back in its day was so successful and why it was so loved. Secondly, I think was, especially among zombie games, Call of Duty Zombies was very well balanced between its horror factor and it's more casual zombie factor i that, that it's a little hard to describe what i'm thinking but you look at something that's a bit more horror oriented like i don't know killing floor or resident evil and you look something that looks something that's more child friendly like uh garden warfare call of duty zombies was pretty well balanced in between the two where it was like, it wasn't, you know, um, a super kid-friendly game. It's not kid-friendly at all. In fact, I possibly picked up a couple new words playing Call of Duty Zombies as a kid. But it's not like horror, like a straight-up horror game, where you're going to be scaring off people who only like casual horror. Something like, I don't know, Metro Last Light, where it has more horror elements than it is an actual horror game. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I was absolutely terrified of Nocturne Toten as a kid, and I didn't even play it. Well, play it at first when I was a little kid. I just watched my neighbor play it, and I was traumatized for like a week after seeing that. So I think that's another thing that made Call of Duty Zombies so popular and so successful back in its day was it was very well balanced as far as where it was standing as a zombie game. It wasn't too scary, you know. It wasn't just straight up, uh, it wasn't a straight up horror game, but it was scary enough to make a very serious, a very serious zombie game. And I think another thing that really made Call of Duty Zombies back in the day stand out was all pretty much all of the characters from the first two games are very memorable. Now you just have a bunch of bland characters. 
I mean, I can't remember the name of a single character from, like, Cold War except for, like, Samantha, and the only reason I even know her is because, well, she goes back to World to world at War. I can't remember the name of a single character from Infinite Warfare. I can't... I can only remember, like, the name of one character from World War II. Marie, I believe that was her, was her name. And I'll remember that because she's kind of cute. Uh, Exo Zombies did have a couple memorable characters. But the older zombies just had characters that were very... That they popped. They stood out. They were full of pizzazz. You know, there were all sorts of various lines that would make you laugh or were very memorable. Like, I don't know, Nikolai's, stay away from my vodka, or Rick Toffin's, I can smell my own blood, fear me. You know, things that really made the characters feel like they had personality, almost like they were actual human beings, not just bland characters that we get spit out today. And I think the final point I'm going to make here is every game of Call of Duty Zombies is in some way, shape, or form different. I think it, it, it's not it's not super repetitive. I mean, it, it can be repetitive to a degree. I wouldn't say it's like Pac-Man level repetitive, where once you figure out the various patterns on the levels, you literally just do the same thing over and over again. It's more of, yeah, to, a degree, to an extent, things are going to be the same. You know, like on Kino, let's face it, you're going to end up running around with a Thunder Gun and probably either a Galil or a Commando. But things are going to change. You know, the box is going to be in various locations. Uh, you know, you're going to get different weapons. Zombies are going to spawn in at at different, you know, from different locations in, in, in different areas every game. So, so, yeah, I think that's the four things that really made Call of Duty Zombies back in its day so popular and so successful it was very replayable it had very memorable characters the horror was very well balanced i mean it, it it's simple but not necessarily easy all of this combined makes the great games that we know and love from our childhood i think i first played call of duty zombies when i was in the fourth grade great memories there but that's all i have to say for today i would like to know your thoughts in the comments always remember that jesus loves you very much i hope everyone has a blessed day Peace.